Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel Alisa. So today I just want to uh, update part 2 at my backyard guys. So um, today I saw oh, very sunny and nice. It's a Sunday, happy Sunday everyone. And yeah, just would like to um, show you this my uh, second part of backyard update. So because I did all this at the back around here and all this also. So today I just want to show you how's my uh, this area going guys. So can't wait to show you guys see how it's going. Oh my suit belt guy oh amazing growing super big. So this is my suit belt white support been two and a half years in the ground. Well nearly two and a half years and they are have a fruit they're from the spring. So here's a fruit. I put a fruit bag just in case or maybe this one may be uh, early of uh, winter maybe this fruit the flower and now they're getting fruit bigger and this one is a spring flower guy and this one after no because uh so bell guy they are have a flower whole year round they get fruit whole year round so yeah, it is very good. They can use fruits twice a year, which is very good. And at the moment, they got another flower coming. Here we go. That's a flower. So I have three, three types, okay? One a bigger fruit. And the baby. And over here, that's the baby. And now they are flowering again. <laughs> Flower. And some fruit left. Many fruit left. And I'm going to show you the flower. Oh, so about growing heap, guys. Look at that flower coming again. So here we go. And I saw many place flower. Here we go, starting. So that's very good. So this is my, oh my God, look at that. The stuff coming. Flower, flower. This is crazy, suit belt by support it, guys. The, the flower is like uh, three times a year fruiting, guys. So, why support it? And the fruit tastes very amazing, very sweet. And it's like a multi fruit flavor. It's like a mango, pineapple, manila, super sweetness, very creamy, super easy to grow. So, yeah. So that's my first tree is my white supported suit bell. We moved next to uh, this one, my uh, jumper deck. It's a family of a uh, jackfruit guys. So here it is. This has been part two year winter. One year in the pot and one year in the ground. So here it goes. Some of my jumper deck doing super well and super big now. The trunk super big, huge. You see my finger. Look at that. It's big different, right? See the size? Even down there is even much, much bigger down here. So yeah. Big and look at this. They look very happy and healthy. Look like a lot of new growth coming again. So been one and a half year in the ground now, my uh, jack sorry my jumper deck very amazing and most next to this is my um kp mango guy been to three years three year winter in the ground this one so i have one time fruit ripe in the tree the first year 2021 and the 2022 they skipped the fruit because it was the winter was super cold back then and this year because the winter not as bad so i get back a look at the fruit guys so here it is so stunning beautiful right look at that look at this amazing so this is my kp mango guy been three years in the ground and look at that fruitless nice some over here too very good and look at this one Super beautiful, super wow, looks so glossy and shiny. This one, so this one, oh, little two fruit here, too. Ah. 
So this is my KP mango in the ground. Guy been three years in the ground. Past three years, uh, winter tree doing super well. I'm so happy with my KP mango. Alright, so hopefully this guy stay. I would love to have my hopefully finger crossed. This year the the fruit will ripe on time, so I can show you hopefully uh, summer coming. <laughs> And uh, we move next to uh, my um, guava. This is a red Malaysia guava guy. This very sensitive tree. But I very hope uh, they give me some fruit this year. This guy, you have to protect them. This is not easy like other guava. This one, fussy, very hard to grow, very uh, sensitive. And uh, Thai white guava also is very sensitive. So, um, but I'm still trying. I already lost one uh, Thai white guava. So I got one more backup. So let's see. At the moment, they are doing so well. I just transferred them in the ground maybe four, six weeks ago. And three super happy. All right, we go back to our red Malaysian guava. They got some flower again, which is a very good sign. And we will see uh, any fruit holding this year. We got another flower. And last time, guys, a bit sad. I didn't look properly. I just pruned them on the bottom here. I pruned a lot and then I pruned all the flower. Huh. Not done check. Just cut, cut it because I want the bottom look neat. So now I lost few flower. I cut it all. Yeah, let's see. Look like not much grow at the moment because they don't get my sun guy. They got blocked from the what we call low quad. We just pruned them not long ago. And at the moment they blocked by a uh, white support tail as well. Very this one grows super fast. Alright, we move next to my castle pole packs and prolific. I prune a lot also and then when I prune it, look at they got a new grow. Every single grow they got a flower guy. So this one packs them prolific. I don't know, should I give them a hand pollinate or maybe um everyone they said um this one uh they uh, pollinate by themselves, like a cell pollinate. That's why I just leave it. And I don't want to uh, do any hand pollinate guy. I have not much time to do that one. But everyone said it's a self pollinate, so I just leave it this year again. This bit stuck together. I break them up better. So you see the llama flower again. That's flower also. So every new grow they got a flower. Also this one. See that? Very good, huh? Also this one flower and this flower flower very beautiful look at that I prune a lot <laughs> all right most next to another cast apple this has been like two and a half years in the ground very big guy I prune a lot so every single pack is a flower very good so this one the same variety it packs and prolific too cast apple so we'll see they are prolific or not. <laughs> because have been two and a half years in the ground. I haven't got any one fruit yet. Last year they tried, they tried to set like this side and then fall off guys. So I have no chance to taste. Okay. She very happy. That's a good thing, right? And um, yeah. If you guys have a lot of fruit trees, I believe uh, most Asian, the love of uh, castle apple. Even... My partner, he loves it, he favorite. That's why we grow around 10 or 11 trees. We have a uh, three variety at the moment. We have um, Paxton Prolific, Castle Apple. We have African Pride. And we have a uh, Pink Murmur. So we have three variety at the moment. So we got like around 10 or 11 tree. 10 or 11 tree guy, which is a lot. So now he said, oh, that's enough. Because I don't eat much. He eat a lot, but he said more than enough for himself. So he said to me, no, I can grow my own favorite. It's my vice pori guy. So yeah, I'll put more vice pori soon in the ground. I want another smarter for backup. And I want my uh, Wilson because they're very uh, heavy crop and fruit might be bigger than a uh, we are uh, then a uh, white supportive suit bell and uh, one uh, lemon go white supportive because heavy crop. So I just want any heavy crop, guys, so I can taste because I love them so much and I can share some to my friend as well. So that's a good thing, right?
That's how the, my castle apple look like. So beautiful. Alright, so next we move to my support dealer. This been one year past in the ground. So doing so well. Look at that flower. This guy always flower guy, but the flower is never open properly. I think they could not see dry again. Not enough sun. Look at that. So that's how flower is. They don't grow properly, but they growing very tall. You to be up to here. We buy them. And now look. Big. Support they are prolific. We get a lot of prolific guys, but we haven't seen any prolific fruit yet. So we have to wait. <laughs> Okay, so we moved to my long country guy. Long country doing super well, then super happy look, super glory, super stunning. And they are flower and plow with the fruit left. Here we go, that's a fruit left, right? Yeah, and uh, so many fruit left, and also here. But they're getting dry too, guys. So here they put like, and here oh, there's a lot in here. Look at that. So that's a fruit like, guys, amazing. And here also, oh, look at these bunch of fruit like. Look at that. Nice, huh? Beautiful. And look at this. Ah, that's a fruitless. And what about here? Flower. Look like, oh, some here down here too. Yeah. And here. And here. Stop fruitless. But we'll see how much they're going to hold, guys. Last. From the last crop, I have around 9 or 10 fruit. Or 11 fruit, can't remember. And here the fruit lies again. So excited to wait. Maybe wait till January or February so the fruit getting a bit bigger. Then we can see properly, guys. Yeah, that's my um uh, lung and fruit. Uh, we, the variety is uh, Kohala. So here variety, guys. Very well growing in Melbourne cold climate. So this is uh, a tropical fruit tree. And avocado is a subtropical, so doing super well too. They they like um cold, they like uh <coughs> cold, and they like hot also. They love the sun. So this one very very good growing in Melbourne in a cold climate. All right, so we move to my my photo getting a bit foggy. Eh? So this is my KP mango. KP mango doing super well. This one skip two years of fruit now. Last year to call no fruit. This year again no fruit. The only grow. Look, so many grow, guys. Big grow. And then we tie them, put all in one here. So it doesn't look too bushy. Look at that. Yeah, and uh, next door here is my uh, smarter white support I've been grafted. Another smarter white supporty I grabbed it myself. And this is a Wilson white supporty. Got set one fruit. One fruit, guy. Look at that. Amazing. Super pretty and growing super well. Look at new growth. And this is my bacon avocado in a pot. And look at here. I have all this my uh, lemon go white supporty, guy. Lemon go I have like around four pot in here. This all lemon go doing super well. I will take some put in the ground. So <clears throat> I want bake up. I want one lemon go at the backyard, and I want more Wilson, and I want more smother. I haven't have a smother fruit yet, but I don't know. They said the fruit is very big, very sweet, very creamy. So I can't wait to have them and I need a backup. So thank goodness I grafted myself that in it's working. <laughs> so I have around seven backup. Anyway, so this is my yeah. Um Lamhas avocado. It look like they have no fruit guy. Only one or two. <laughs> Many. So have no fruit at all. No fruit hold it. 
And here is my red avocado. I saw big fruit. Where is it? Big fruit. Can't find it again. Big fruit. Where are you here? So that's my red avocado. One here and one at the back somewhere around there. Anyway, at the back here look like the whole might. I don't know why. Maybe not enough uh, pollinate. I don't know guys, this guy always in the, the net, so yeah, very hard, so it's alright. I have many trees to go. Alright, we look back to my Rulenia. It's a family of Casare Porto Rulenia seedling. And this one died back twice. Winter time die back, they grow in super well after winter. Spring they grow in super well beautiful. And I've been cut off the die back. Spring coming is super cold again, guys. Some night is under 10 degrees. This guy going die back again. I said, oh no. I saw the dead, but finally they start coming back a little bit. And uh, when springtime, the leaves are supposed to be curled and look unhealthy. But now they're back to no more, guys. So here it is. Which is good, right? My rulenia, my strawberry look very happy. Yesterday we picked some four fruit, and today we got some fruit again. <laughs> strawberry. They growing super well. This one only one grow, but now they got a multi, multi fly. They, um, keep split more and more and more so do it very good maybe i should split them to grow a little bit everywhere you don't have to buy again guy with strawberry tree all right behind there is my um jackfruit jackfruit two year in the ground also so been part two winter last year winter was a lot of die back guys that by was supposed, supposed to be very very tall like two meter two and a half in high but now they die by so this all new grow back. This is supposed to be a main main trunk guys. That's one. It's the main one. But now they die back. So the second one took over here. And they are doing super well in a cold climate guys. Zoo 9B. Australian in Melbourne. So here it is. Jackfruit, hopefully they have some fruit, so there's a fruit for you guys can grow too, right? I'm super excited for that one and I keep pulling all my um passion. They're growing everywhere, guys. The root growing super far. I was supposed to be grow over there and now look everywhere I pull it out. <clears throat> okay, so we moved next to my uh Mango tree again. This one, I'm not exactly 100% sure what variety is, but I believe this is a gland. But we will see together, guys, when the fruit getting bigger. And so there's a lot of fruit less. That's so amazing, beautiful. And many fruit less in here. And also, same time, they got many new growth too. So stunning. And look at here many new grow guys so very very beautiful and look at this super nice huh and look at the fruit here that's well some fruit here and some is here and this one is a bigger one i have this year uh, around june or july i pick up the fruit off because i know they're going to winter they won't grow that's why i pull it off so here again that's nice they're very good a lot of fruit like many fruit like guy growing very big now this one is the top the bigger one we have at the moment here we go <laughs> there's some fruit over here too here we go wow it's a lot of fruit for a little tree not little but smaller tree here we go super nice huh and here also okay so this my mango, I know variety exactly what it is, but my partner said there's a gland, so I said it's a gland too. <laughs> and most next to my custard apple, this African pride. Been, uh, we put them this year in the ground, maybe now three months old. 
So I think I'll be put before winter time, maybe six months, sorry, guys. Oh, flower open here. Look at that. Nice. Right, the moisture. So this is my, uh, it's doing so well. Lachi, Tizo. Doing very good, guy. But this year they skipped the flower. Many new grow and a lot of spider weed. And I can see a lot of new lamb again coming. So, like another new grow again. Look, the new grow under the need here too. So, super excited. Okay, this, this one is my uh, green sapote. Look like they're doing better now. Very tall, guys. One meter in high. Or even plus more than one meter in high. So this tree very happy, but I don't know what it delay all the new leaf it like. Look at that. But there's a new one coming, which is happy. It's doing super well. All right, we move to my hot plum guy. Hot plum this this area is a grow one. And the top here all dead. All dead. Nothing left. Slowly slow backward, slow down and down and down now. Huh? Only this side down. There, that's a lie, but from there up to here, it's dead. Okay, and the next one is my Lamhas avocado. Lamhas been like maybe one and one year in the ground, or could be one and a half year. This is a big trunk burn, but they doing so well. I have three trunk burn on my Lamha guy, so one is dead and two survive and another one doing super well with the fruit now and this one no fruit but three look super healthy and happy that's a good sign we move next to this is my uh, numb dot my guy numb dot my tree doing so well and the fruit get a lot bigger guys so here's the numb dot my fruit shape so very good right look at that so that's the shape guys. Fruit get a lot bigger now, like you see. So this is my number of mines. See, that's the shape number of mine. When I bought this guy, they said it's a number of mine too. But fruit was round like a KP. So I believe that's not a number of mine. I already cut one around like a heart shape. So similar like a KP or R2E2, but my partner said it's a gland, which is okay. I'm happy with that one now because um, they are easy to grow. Well, they're not easy to grow, but they can handle with a frost and cold. They have none of die back, guys. This winter have none of die back. It's very strong tree. The same, look like stronger than KP mango. I saw the KP mango doing better, but look like that one doing better. The same this one, the same variety. They said now that my but that's not. But anyway, I'm happy now. Fruit all dead and many new grow coming, which is a good sign. Also, they're not growing because never been moving at all since I transferred them in the ground. Anyway, now tree moving, I'm super happy. I'm very happy about uh, my num that my guy. So, yeah, here we go. And look at the shape. Look at this. And look at this. Very beautiful. Oh, look at that. That's very amazing. <gasps> Fruit getting a lot, a lot bigger, guys. So very amazing. Very good. Beautiful. Many fruits for a little tree. Let's see how much they can handle it. Okay. All right. We move to another lychee tie so again. Tai Chi so Look at that. A lot of new grow coming again, guys. Look. Very beautiful, stunning, super healthy. And we move to, so this one is my um, old only lychee. All the flower was dead. As long as soon I took off my greenhouse, huh, the dead, but the leaves still okay. This is a very sensitive tree too. Also, they will die by the winter time. Thank goodness, they still survive, still around. So that's a good thing. Okay, guys. So this is my Nam Dok Mai. That's what I'm talking about from my last video. 
See, they die on me after winter. They okay survive moving your flower, and springtime they dead. So completely dead look now. Here the flower dead, everything dead. And I think because some kind of animal they the bark inside of the trunk here. I don't know what is it and a rotted look. Yeah, they rotted here. See that guy? So all that all the way there. And some uh, insert like this one, you see that moving? The one was inside the trunk here. So yeah, they so sad. So now my partner got a one, I think one a num dot my bag num dot my and one is king tie. So he said he will live in, in the pot, see which one doing better. <sighs> Anyway, there's a bake up in the port. It's very sad about this. Very sad. Alright, so we move to my ties. This one, I believe, I don't know what variety is because we bought this guy. Yes, excuse me. Yeah, we bought this guy from the guy early in the retirement house and um. Yeah, we bought around C3 from that guy. Even my bike handle one in the pot, we got from him too. Yeah, so that's one is, uh, I'm not exactly sure. My partner said maybe a uh, quite my pink. We could the lead looks similar, but we'll see. We don't know, guy, we just guessing. Even the guy doesn't know what variety is. And then look down there too. I will do a layer that one when this one getting a lot better. And now the, they got many new grow. Here we go, many, many, and here too, many you grow. And here my cassidy pool, packs them prolific also. So this full of uh, flower, yeah. This one look like a little bit, uh, leaf growing very small. Maybe not enough nutrient because the grub took over properly. Yeah, sometimes we will pull the grass guy. We've been so busy at work, everyone working and watering the garden. It's not enough time to do everything, guy. If we stay home, maybe we get more time to clean up everywhere. But anyway, I'm happy because my garden still look nice and neat, except this one area. Wow, that guy. So there's a very long video today. I'm very happy about this one. Look at that. Jesus, this is my number, oh my guy. That's crazy. I love it so much. So beautiful. Can't complain, huh? Eh? Very big this shape of number, oh my already. Awesome. Get the fruit. All right, guys. That's all. Would love to show you this. So uh, this is my uh. Uh, part two of two at the backyard guy and hope you guys enjoy this video and happy weekend and wish you all the best and happy with all your family enjoy the weekend guy and christmas not long to go one week to go guys so i believe everyone super busy with the christmas shopping and uh, all the gifts so yeah Alright guys, thanks so much for being supporting from beginning till now and thank you so much for being watching my channel and I wish you all the best, especially wish you uh, enjoy with your family during the Christmas time. Alright guys, take care and I would like to see you in my next video. Bye.